I think it boils down really to one thing, which is, am I happy with what I've got? <laughs> you know, with this little mini empire that I've built up, am I content with that? Um, or do I want to change that? And I suppose the changing of that is a sliding scale, right? So, you know, it could be as simple as, oh, I'm just going to get a fast car. You know, these are the cliches, but there are cliches for a reason. I'm just going to get a kind of sports car and have a mini midlife crisis like that. Or, you know, along that sliding scale, it gets kind of more and more serious and the fallout gets greater. So it could be, I'm going to leave my partner and stri strike up with someone new someone kind of fresh and exciting, I don't know, you know, who I've not been with for 20 years. Or, I mean, even, and this is certainly the case for a lot of men, I think, you know, a lot of men, and it's a frightening statistic, but, you know, the highest, the biggest killer in men of, of my age and, uh, you know, the, the sort of little world I'm writing, the biggest killer is suicide, you know, so that, that there is this sort of sliding scale um, of decisions that people make to to change where they're at and to tear it all down. But saying that, it's quite possible not to change anything. It's quite possible, I think, to ask yourself those questions and to experience the anxiety and the fear that those questions bring about, but to work through it and to come out the other side and feel liberated. Feel, well, I'm happy with what I've got. You know, I'm happy with myself and with my family and the stability and the solidity of that. You know, so so it's I found it a very interesting part of life to write about. And I think it's full of really fascinating questions.